Yeah, I, I pressed the damn button. So I have 13 minutes left. This is this part is dedicated to the soft content of the roux itself. How do you make a roux? Okay, I think I can use a whole stick of butter for this with the soft content. You want to do this right. The appropriations of, of butter, flour, like mixed with this, and then this, and then all the pasta that I made. And anyways, the vegetables are like on their own, but it's just it'll be good to go with the food. Usually, you put a roux in the freaking in a on um frying pan but this will work so we're gonna just do that because it works fine so when you make a roux you just use butter and flour and then you put it with the sauce now the only cheese I really I can't really eat. usually you would want to add more cheese but I don't know. I have like Mexican cheese. Like I have um taco cheese, whatever. They actually used to call it Mexican blended. I don't know if they still do. But anyways, I'm not being racist or funny when I said Mexican cheese because anyways. I had got flour on my phone, so I'm just like that's kind of Kiddos be showing her little butt off. <laughs> yeah, kiddos. So anyways, you just put the butter and the flour and let it cook a little bit. It's melting. Oh my god. I dropped the fork, but I still have the other one another. So I'm just turning the butter and the flour around. I like have the whole stick like this and I'm going using it to like like this <laughs> to like scoop up the flour with it and if you want to like gather it together and like as it's melting you still just kind of gather the corners and get all the flour my son is actually in culinary right now but he hasn't tried to teach me anything not that I would need him to exactly but I would be listening and be interested in him teaching me like as I teach him as well but that's fine though I mean he talks about stuff sometimes but you know how kids are they're not really going to necessarily explain everything as thoroughly but what are you going to do 